previously on Fight Night. This is a very heated fight here. We have Hans Chattington taking on Evil Rex. Evil Rex failed to do his job. Diving fist drop out of nowhere. Wait, it, Rex Hayes! Rex what? Hayes just saved his clone. Spirit Squad, what is going on? We are back once again with another installment of Fight Night. My name is Juan Velas. Joining me as always, all the way from Boston, the sex stallion himself, Mr. Ryan McNulty. Fight Night is love and Fight Night is life, Mr. Juan. And look who we have coming down to the ring right now. You're asking, why the hell is uh, Ted DiBiase here? Well, you know, it was supposed to be a surprise entrant, but you know, who is the guy who decides who comes out first? That's what I want to know. We'll find out eventually. I think that's, uh, that's a mystery that'll be solved within a couple of minutes because we know that things have been happening on Fight Night that aren't necessarily all that great. I mean, Ryan, I was crying for a long time after the last episode. For those that did not watch it, Dandy, the undefeated superstar of Fight Night. Just, I, I can't do it, Ryan. Can't do it. Uh, you know, he actually wasn't undefeated. He actually lost to Sabotage uh, a couple of weeks ago, so you were pretty wrong about his track record. But anyway, into the action going on right now. Why is Ted DiBiase here? Well, let's put it this way. We've got tag team action tonight, and let's just say guys with money like to stick together. And uh, they're taking on Rex and Evil Rex. Yeah, this is the odd pairing. We saw one of the previous episodes, for whatever reason, Rex Hayes came out to save Evil Rex. Obviously, Evil Rex sent from the future to the past, courtesy of Hans Chaddington. Didn't get the job done of destroying Rex, so obviously, you know, there, there's nothing better to do than to become friends with that which was trying to destroy you, Ryan. Yes, this is a very odd pairing. I don't know what Rex is thinking when he is partnering up with the guy. This guy was programmed to kill him, and now Murder. it looks, it appears that they're friends. That's why I don't think Rex is such a smart guy. This is a pretty big deal, too, because this is the first time we ever have a tag team, a traditional tag team match. No flaming tables, Ryan. I think we're taking a break from that, right? You know, much to my dismay, I think we are. The one thing we cannot take away is you can see by the beautiful apron, we are still here in the WrestleMania 19 arena. We're going to keep making it happen, people. Financially, it is impossible, but the future is probable. Well, they keep sending us stuff in the mail. Uh, it's got, like a lot of red on it I just keep throwing them out because you know hey I mean we keep doing shows here you know if they if they have issues with it they should probably call us because who, you know who deals with snail mail anymore dude I don't care who signs or how we pay the fact of the matter is we're here we're at Safeco Field and Rex Hayes just got whipped to the corner now I was I was assuming you were paying so we're good right uh the Sure. Why, you know what? Why not? Why not? Let's let's go with that. Because what's the worst that can happen? But you see here the strategy that Dad Money's, uh, that is apparently the official team, sort of trying to slow the pace down. I think Evil Rex is maybe uh, malfunctioning there a little bit. Yeah, you know, I really like the name Dad Money's, you know. These guys, this pairing probably has the median age of about 65, and it just seems like they want to, uh, you know, be hip and trendy, so uh, it seems like it, it's right with the with today's culture. Don't say trend. You know, another guy from Fight Night may get a little bit jealous here, but you see, Evil Rex got the tag in. Now, this is an unorthodox thing. Once again, Hans is the the man. I'm still not, I'm not sure. This is an ongoing mystery. Did he create him in the future, or just hire him in the future? Was he on layaway? That has never been too clear to me, Ryan. You know, from what I can tell from Hans is that he had someone create the uh, this Evil Rex clone in the future. Apparently that's a thing that you can have done in the future. You know, Hans, he is not a scientist. He is just a man with a lot of money who likes to get things done. You know, John Cena is a foolproof career if he can make it to uh, just a couple more years. I don't know what time in the future that was happening, but all I do know is we're getting some very quick leg drops from Rex Hayes. Evil Rex in the corner does nothing. Okay, you know, why not? It's it's like Dean Ambrose. He throws you off a little bit. He comes back. 
Then he's grabbing Hans, a little bit of a payback wow. and a slap meeting the face, Ryan. It kills me to say that I'm actually very impressed with the strategy that's going on between uh, the two Rexes here. Uh, Rex squared, if you will. Uh, that They are cutting the ring in half and there was some double teaming going on there. Overhead belly to belly suplex. Very creative name, by the way. Rex Square never thought about it like that. Yeah, you know. You see Michael Cole and uh, Jerry the King Alder, they're still there, man. They they just will not go away. It's been weeks, months. I hope they're the ones paying for the arena. Maybe that's why they're sticking around. Could be the anonymous GM. You never know, man. What we do Wait. know is they're getting a tag. Ted DiBiase because... When do we hire Hornswoggle? Don't tell me he's here. I make no promises. Damn! Ryan, you know, when you think of WWE legends, you think about a lot of them. And what better way, the very first ever WWE superstar to be in Finite is Ted DiBiase. What is your level of excitement from one to two? It is, it is an absolute 2.5. I mean, we've got the million dollar man with the billion dollar man, Mr. Hans Chattington. So together they've got a lot of money because I'm not going to add it up. Um, so, who better of a, you know, who better of a superstar to pick up than the Million Dollar Man? You know, surely there's nobody on anyone's mind that could be even bigger. And, uh, we definitely haven't had, like, Cesaro and Ryback on here before, so this is our first WWE superstar. Exactly. Who better than Canyon? Ted DiBiase, who just got the tag. Now, this is still a very back-and-forth match as Ted DiBiase throws Evil Rex to the outside. May I remind you, this is a traditional tag team match. Countouts do apply. Disqualifications can occur, oh. but Hans Chaddington bending the rules, throwing Evil Rex to the steps. And I also like how uh, Ted DiBiase is uh, very much like Hans, where he wrestles in a classy attire. He decided to wrestle in his suit. We actually have three out of four guys here pretty well dressed you know i'm gonna give evil rex some credit uh he dresses up pretty pretty nice they're on the ref, he the ref up is well. wearing some pants yeah man. that's it's true out of so five. uh you know there's there's a good reason i'm not a big fan of uh rex hayes here he uh, he just doesn't know how to dress for a wrestling match wearing actual wrestling attire i mean who does that i knew there was something going on because in the past couple of episodes, for everything you try to hate about Hans, you like him. But that was it, the clothing. You, it's not just the ass, Ryan. I know you love that ass, but it's the outfit, ain't it? It is, man. I, I, I'm a sucker for a sharp-dressed man. What can I say? Absolutely. Only here on Fight Night. Very vicious elbow, courtesy of Hans Chaddington. Now getting People a little bit questioning their sexuality only on Fight Night. Every single uh, week, and by every single week, I mean every two weeks or so, or depending when you're watching, because it could be relative. You could be binge watching Fight Night. Is there anything better, like, uh, better than that, Ryan? Absolutely not. I mean, in just under an hour at this point, you could watch all of Fight Night. So if you haven't, you should go back and check earlier episodes. Evil Rex gets thrown to the outside. This is a very uh, lengthy match in the terms where you got to wonder, what at what point is the tide going to switch to one side completely? You see a very nice snap suplex taking place. Let's get a couple of replays of the tag team combinations that have been happening in this match. Courtesy of both tag teams, Dad Money's Rex Squared. Russian Lex Sweep, courtesy of Hans Chatting to We could be like seeing the I feel it's been a very evenly matched uh, contest going on right now. And I think it's time, you know... Hans has Evil Rex in the corner, but Spear. just as I say it. I think it needs a flaming table. One, two, no, it's not over yet. I've seen a lot of action, but like I said, someone really needs to take control here. And uh, it, it just seems like absolute chaos right now. People getting Irish whipped all over the place. Devastating big, big boot right between the eyes. Couldn't even save myself. One, two, it's what? over. Out of nowhere victory, that vicious big boot. Evil Rex has defeated that which purchased him in the future to the past to destroy, to fail, and then overcome the odds and defeat that which, you know, all of that I just mentioned. Just, you know, repeat that once again. I'm absolutely stunned. Wait, wait, what? 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 Oh my god. No. No. 
first we, we get banana bread coming back, and now this? You know, why? we tried to make a lot of sense of why Rex Hayes would even want to pair with Evil Rex, and it's very clear that he had different motives. Because how can you really be friends with someone who wants to destroy you? I do not know, ladies and gentlemen. Find that is turning to a very deep, dark corner. Make sure to subscribe to check out other episodes, including last episode. We need Rex Hayes to speak right here on Fight Night. Thanks for watching.